Okay, I'm going to do just a couple questions here. Um, this says, Tony invited 10 friends to his basketball game. Seven friends said they could attend. What's the ratio of the number of friends that could attend to the total number of friends invited? So we need to pay attention to what it's asking for the ratio of and the order. So it says, what's the ratio of the number of friends that could attend to the total number? So I'm just going to write like attend total. This is a part to whole relationship because it's comparing part of the kids to all of the friends, to the whole thing. So how many people could attend? Seven. Out of how many people did he invite total? Ten. So my ratio is seven to ten. Seven to ten. Seven to ten. Okay, I'm going to do one more. The reading test has a total of 40 questions. Sarah answered 36 correct. What's the ratio of the number of questions Sarah got correct to the number of questions she got incorrect? So I'm looking for the ratio of the number of questions she got correct to incorrect. So I'm going to just come over here and I'm going to write correct, incorrect. Now it tells me she got 36 correct but it did not tell me how many she got incorrect. So she got 36 correct out of a total of 40. So how many would be incorrect if she got 36 out of 40 correct? That would mean four were incorrect. So that would be four. So my ratio is 36 to four. If you wanted to simplify that, you could. You could do nine to one, because you could divide them both by four. But this particular thing did not ask you to simplify, did not tell you specifically to simplify, but you could. And I'm gonna do one more example. Um, this one right here, which ratio describes the multiplicative relationship of pizza to pasta? Pizza to pasta. All I'm going to do is I'm going to take pizza and pasta and look right here. Pizza is 5 and pasta is 15. I could have used the 10 and 30 also. This one, because it's asking me the multiplicative relationship, I want to know, like, what is it multiplying by? So I'm going to simplify this. Divide by 5, divide by 5. And I get one third. So that one's a little bit different. I hope this helps.